So I'm sure you've heard Microsoft's big announcement. They're gonna be releasing Windows 11 and it's gonna be rolling out to a computer near you this holiday season, but wouldn't you like to get a sneak peek at it? You can, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. Hey everybody, Mike with IT Pro TV, and we're gonna be taking a look at how you can get a sneak peek at Windows 11. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. All right, so how do you get a sneak peek of Windows 11? You join the Insider Program, and I'm gonna show you how. So join me on my screen here. There are a couple of things that you're going to need. First of all, you're gonna need a registered or a licensed copy of Windows 10. If you're using a trial copy or anything like that, this won't work. So you need a licensed edition of Windows 10 running on your machine, and that machine is gonna to need to meet the requirements for Windows 11 hardware-wise, which it'll let you know if you don't. Second thing you're gonna need is a Microsoft account because we're gonna to need to register with the Insider program and say, hey, I wanna take part. And it's really pretty cool. Anybody can sign up for it. And the, what it is is you get to get a sneak peek at Microsoft's operating systems before they're released to the general public so that you can be part of the feedback process, right? They want you to use it and tell them what you think, what you like and what you don't like, and then they can try to incorporate that into that next version of Windows. So you can actually dictate or try to help dictate uh, what's included in that next version of the operating system. Now, do be warned, all right, this is a beta version of the operating system. It's meant to be, you know, it's got some rough edges to it. So not everything is going to work 100% of the time. If you're not up for that, if you don't feel like dealing with the hiccups, then this isn't for you because there are going to be some things that break, right? This is a testing process. We're there to help Microsoft test it, make sure that it is perfect by the time it does roll out. All right, so that being said, if you decided that you want to go for this, you want to take a sneak peek at it, you want to get started, let me show you how to do it. I'm going to go to our settings from the start menu, and I'm going to open up settings, and then I'm going to head over to update and security. This is where it's all going to start. Same place you'd normally get your Windows updates, right? And that is one thing we need to do. We need to make sure we are up to date. Make sure you've got all of your Windows 10 updates. Otherwise, they might not see your computer as ready to accept the next version of Windows 11. So go through and do all of your updates. Once you've done that, down at the bottom, way down here, we've got our Windows Insider program with our little Ninja Kitty logo sitting down there. That's what we're going to click on. And it's going to tell me, hey, do you want to join the Insider program? You're going to need to register. All right, so I'm going to click Get Started in just a second because I already have an account that I've registered for the Insider program with Microsoft. If you don't, here's what you're going to do. Right here, Help from the Web, Becoming a Windows Insider. Go ahead and click on that link. That's going to open up your browser and take you out to insider.windows.com. And this is where you can join or register for the Insider program. You'll see I'll scroll down, and here I can choose to register. I'm simply going to click that button, and then you would type in your Windows account, your Microsoft account information, and register. Keep in mind, it can take up to 24 hours once you register before you can go through the next part of this and actually get that um, Insider build. So register maybe wait till the next day and then sign up for the Insider program on your PC. So once you've registered, uh, and if you don't have a Microsoft account, they do have a link right here to allow you to sign up for one. So you can get a free Microsoft account, a Hotmail or an Outlook account uh, that you can use. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this because I've already got my account and it's been registered. And I'm gonna click the Getting Started button right up there at the top. And it tells me, okay, well, link an account that's registered with the Insider program. And this is the part I'm saying can take a minute. They might not recognize your account, so make sure you give it a little time. Pick your account from this list. And then here, we're going to pick our channel. And I know that is a horrible color combination there, Microsoft. That is really hard to read. So I'm going to zoom back out and kind of click on them and see if I can make that a little bit more visible for you. The one that's highlighted currently is the dev channel. That's the one you want if you want Windows Insider. The others, the beta channel and the release preview channel, these are more stable versions of Windows 10. They're like the next version of Windows 10, that next big update that's coming out. But if you want Windows 11, the only channel currently that's giving us that is actually, I take that back, the dev channel and the beta channel will give you Windows 11. 
The dev channel is going to be a little more cutting edge. You'll get more of those features, but you also might run into more hiccups. So pick your poison, right? The beta channel, you'll get the Windows 11 features that have been tested and are not going to cause as many problems. Still no guarantees. So pick the one you want. I'm going to go with the dev channel and then we're going to click confirm. All right. Now we've got to read our EULAs and agree to all that. We'll click confirm and then I've got to restart this computer. So we'll reboot this computer and we come back, we'll take a look at what we've got. All right, so it's rebooted and let me log back in if I can type in my password successfully. And now what we're gonna do, now that we're registered and it's rebooted, the system knows it's part of that Windows Insider program. We should be able to go and see if there's an update waiting for us. So let's go ahead, go back into settings. All right, click on that little gear icon down there uh, and then go back into update and security. And I don't have any updates yet. Let's just double check the Windows Insider program, right? Here's how I can verify that I'm definitely part of it. So it looks a little different, right? Instead of the get started button, I can see the build that I currently belong to, right? Pick your Insider program, and there is my dev channel that I selected, right? It shows me the account that is associated with that as well. And if I want to opt out of it, right, I can say, look, let's stop for a little bit. I can't take it. The latest versions are a little bit buggy, too buggy for me. Uh, so you can turn off and you won't get those preview builds uh, until you turn it back on. All right, so let's go check Windows Update. We're going to click check for updates and see what happens. Again, this is the part that might take it a little bit, right? Once I've joined that program and I've registered my account and I've set this computer up to be part of it, we might or might not get the update right away. But take a look at that. We are now downloading the Windows 11 Insider Preview. So that was that easy to get this started. So we'll let this go for a minute. Now this will take a little while, right? It's gotta download the update and then it's gotta install the update and it's gonna take one or two reboots of that machine to finish. But once it's done, you'll be looking at Windows 11. So stay tuned and we'll see what we end up with. All right, after a couple reboots, we are done. We are now running Windows 11. And just to prove it, we've got a little Windows version right here. We can see we are indeed running Windows 11. Now you notice it looks a lot different from Windows 10, but don't worry, we've got videos coming up that are gonna show you how to work your way around and navigate and explore Windows 11. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below, and I'll see you soon.